I'm going to start with a scrap bit of wood that I'm going to mark and cut to length. Just a soft bit of pine. I'm going to shape this bit of timber into the basic hook. Then I'll use that to press into the sand. basic shape made from the bit of pine. Here's an example of what I can use the hook for and one of the things I will be using it for is hooking on to power cords into the side of my workbench for plugging and unplugging tools. I'm going to build a timber cast for pressing my sand for the mould as I've got one but it's not quite big enough for the hook size I want to make. So I'm just making the frames out of that same soft pine timber. Now I've got the two timber frames made. I've got some locating screws there. I've cut out a channel at the top for the funnel for where you pour your metal into. I've got my delf clay here. I'm going to start filling up my new frames that I've turned into a cast. Evenly press it all down, flatten the top, get rid of the excess sand. Get a non-binding agent like flour or baby powder, spread it over your object, which is my timber hook, and spread it over the surface of the bottom part of the cast. This is so the top and the bottom don't stick together. Now I'm going to place my hook into the sand and evenly and slowly press it in, press it in half the depth of the object. Place the top on and screw it down. Then get the delve clay and continue to press in the top half. Evenly hand pressing around the object until it's located in without moving. And then you can press it in with a hammer on top to get that compaction. fully compact all round, then slowly and evenly release the top from the bottom half of the mould. Now I'm going to start cutting out the channel for the funnel at the top sides of the mould. This is where you're going to pour your metal into. So you need to make the channel wide enough at the top and the bottom for the metal to be able to flow without suffocating itself. So I'm making that funnel channel on both sides of the mould. Now I'm just using a little bit of thin metal, which is actually a nozzle cleaner, to puncture holes all throughout the object for breathers, so once the metal is poured through the funnel, it does not suffocate itself and blob up and reaches all parts of the object. do the same on the other side. You probably don't need to have as many air holes as I put in 
but it's better to be safe than sorry and have it blob up in a certain part of your mould. Now that's done, make sure your object is out of the mould and you press your two halves back together and screw it down, ready to pour. Wait a few minutes for it to set. Then I release the mold and open it up. Get a bit of water, preferably more than what I had. I just forgot to fill up my little canister. Dunk it in there, cool it down. And this is what I've got out of the press, the rough shape. Now the better you get your mould in the casting, the less work you need to clean it all up. But I'm working with some quite basic tools here, so I'm just going to work with what I've got and sort of clean it up after the fact. I'm just using files and a little Dremel here to clean it out and get it back to its basic shape, getting rid of the little air breather tabs. I'm starting to shape it now using a sanding disc on the Dremel. Just drawing in the pattern into the base of the hook. And using a grinder to cut away all the excess pieces. Continue to work it with my files, sanding tools, Dremel, etc. Work it down to the shape that you want. Recharge with a quick coffee and get my drill and do some locating marks and holes for the screws to be able to fix to the cabinet later on. Kind of sink the top so the screws sit flush and that's it, the holes are done. Yeah, I've got some brass wood screws that I'm going to thread through so it's all the same colour and looks quite neat. I'm going to continue to carve now and add a bit more detail and depth to the hook. Continue to mark the back side of the hook. And carve that out.
Now I'm just getting out my mini lathe and putting on some of the Dremel attachments and some mini files just to get some final shape to it. And here it is, the finished product. A homemade brass hook, cast using a delft clay, a torch and a crucible. As you can see up close in some of the areas on the bottom side, air bubbles have formed unfortunately, but sometimes you just get that. Thanks for watching. If you want more projects like this, check out this video right here.